Hey viewers and friends, Andrew back at you with the final video to conclude my George A. Romero Dead franchise videos. Um, my ranking of worst to best, including the remakes. So there's nine movies all up, and I'll be ranking them from Night Spot, the worst, right down to number one, the best. Keep in mind that this is my opinion, and this is how I rank the franchise for myself and just how I feel about the movies. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, yep, and we're going to start at number nine, which is my least favorite or the worst movie. And that is definitely Survival of the Dead. I really don't know what um, George A. Romero was thinking when he did this one. Um, you know, this is nothing on the rest of the franchise. It is a terrible movie. I really didn't enjoy too many things within the film. It was boring. The gore was terrible. And I really didn't get into the storyline or the characters. So Survival of the Dead sits at number 9 and is definitely, in my opinion, the worst. Uh, sitting at number 8 is Diary of the Dead. Not a terrible movie, but compared to the rest of the franchise, it really doesn't compare to it. Um, the main issue I had with this one is it loses the strong sort of social commentary and story and character development of a lot of the other films within the franchise, especially the George A. Romero films it definitely loses that it kind of takes on a unique style which i thought was really good with the whole sort of filmmaking documentary style aspect to the movie the gore was really good but yeah compared to the rest of the franchise it really doesn't hold up for me too well so sitting at number eight is diary of the dead Now sitting at number 7, this may surprise most of you, but this is my opinion, this is my ranking. 7th spot is the original Night of the Living Dead. Now, in a lot of ways, this deserves to be at a higher spot on the list, but in terms of my overall enjoyment and rewatch value within the movie, it definitely sits at number 7. You know, I respect this movie immensely. I do think it's a classic. You know, this essentially cemented the zombie genre as we know it today that started off this fantastic franchise. However, as a movie, I do find it kind of dated. I do find it rather boring in parts. And yeah, it just doesn't have that rewatchability value that the rest of the franchise or most of the other movies that I'm going to show next do. So. This one sits at number seven. By no means is this a terrible movie. It's a good movie, it's a classic, but uh, yeah, it does sit at number seven. <laughs> this will probably shock a few people that I placed this one higher than Night of the Living Dead. Uh, sitting at number six is the Day of the Dead remake. Now, in terms of a remake, it it's nothing compared to the original. In fact, this really is not even a remake of the original. But in terms of a fun, easy to watch, modern zombie film, this movie is fantastic. It's so much fun. I really enjoyed the characters in this one. Um, I love the zombies. They looked awesome. However, they were a little bit overdone. Um, I think they really needed to tone down the pace of the zombies, especially in the hospital scenes where a lot of them were just jumping around and crawling on the roof. I sort of thought that was a little bit too much, but other than that, I just had a lot of fun with this movie. It's really easy to watch, got great gore, um, a lot of really good gore effects. I love the fast paced nature of the movie. I do quite enjoy the main cast in this one and uh, the zombies look awesome. So, And I really sort of like the fact that the zombies didn't necessarily have to be bitten to be infected. Um, you know, there was sort of like an airborne virus kind of thing that turned some people into zombies, 
which I thought was kind of cool, but this is really a lot of fun. So this one sits at number six. Uh, sitting at number five is uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake. Now this is one of the best remakes in my opinion, and I think it's a really, really solid uh, modern remake to the classic original. Um, it does have similarities to the original, but it sort of takes on its own modern feel. It's certainly a hell of a lot more fast paced than the original. There's a lot more characters in this one, and essentially it doesn't really focus on the characters and story development uh, like the original does. It focuses more on the action side of things, the fast paced nature of the movie, and the zombies. Um, great remake, one of the best remakes out there. Dawn of the Dead sits at number five. Number four is Land of the Dead. Now, I definitely think this is probably the most underrated movie within the franchise. I personally think it's fantastic. I think it's got a perfect balance of the George A. Romero classic films mixed with just a modern take on the franchise. Um, there is some social commentary within the movie about power and greed, which doesn't really come across as in your face as the social commentaries in his earlier movies, but it's definitely there, and I just love the sort of fast-paced action focus. The zombies look awesome. There's some really iconic scenes in it, like when the zombies are coming out of the river, and there's some awesome, awesome gore as well. So... Fourth spot is Land of the Dead. Sitting at number three is the Night of the Living Dead remake from Tom Savini. I think Tom Savini did a fantastic job with this one. He paid a lot of respect to the original film, and of course George A. Romero had a lot of involvement in this one, and it definitely shows one of the best remakes of all time. I hands down prefer this over the original, I always have, and I love the look of the zombies in this one, great gore effects as well, so third spot is Night of the Living Dead. Right, now we're down to the top two, um, which I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree with me on this one, or at least um, both of these movies being in the top two. Top. Um, Number two, my second favourite in the franchise, is the original Dawn of the Dead. Such a masterpiece of a movie in every sense. This one is a true classic. I love the characters. Um, the four main characters that are trapped within the mall are fantastic. They have great interaction with each other. Um, Steven, or Flyboy, is awesome in this one. I loved his character. This one has a great sort of social commentary. Awesome looking zombies, great gore effects as well. Just such a well done film, absolute classic. And sitting at number one, easily my favourite movie within the franchise, of course, goes to the original Day of the Dead. Probably my favourite zombie film of all time. It certainly has my favourite gore effects of all time. The gore in this movie is fucking incredible. I really love the underground bunker and laboratory setting, really atmospheric and claustrophobic. I thought this had the most realistic character portrayal as well. Um, a lot of the characters were pretty level headed, but then as the movie progressed and the situation started to get worse and worse, a lot of characters really lost it, which I think is a pretty realistic um, trail of how a lot of people would react in this sort of situation. I really loved the character of Bub. I thought they did a fantastic job on that, really focusing on the emotions of a zombie. Um, and in a lot of ways, you know, Bub turned out to be the best character of them all. So, absolute classic movie. I really don't need to say too much about it. I'm sure most of you know how awesome this film is. So, yeah, the original Day of the Dead is my number one pick of the franchise. Okay, so that wraps up my ranking of the nine movies from worst to best. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is my opinion and I'm keen to hear your opinions, so either let me know how you rank the franchise in the comment section below, or better still, get involved, make a quick video response, and give your ranking of the George A. Romero and the remakes worst to best. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video series. I've certainly had a lot of fun doing them, and enjoyed, for the most part, uh, watching the few movies that I've never seen before for the franchise. So yeah, that wraps up the video series for the George A. Romero Dead franchise. Thanks for watching.